All right, so today me and Ted are meeting up with Ted Miller. We're just about to his house now. Stop getting ourselves some tea bell. Ted's just about here, I think, and we're gonna go out and do some predator calling. Hopefully, shoot some coyotes, and maybe even a bobcat. Ted said that he hasn't been to any of his good spots yet, so I'm hoping if Ted Miller is calling at one of his good spots, that I'd say we probably have just as good a chance as any to see some sort of predator tonight. So, it just seems like he's always into him. He's He's had hunts here on the channel in the past, some pretty cool hunts. We're gonna hunt this afternoon, probably before it gets dark out, and then we got a pretty full moon, so we're hoping we can figure out a way to do some night hunting maybe, and then maybe head back out again in the morning, and hopefully somewhere in the next 12 hours here, we, we get a chance at a coyote or two. I don't know if Ted's ever shot a coyote, little Ted, and I've only shot a handful. I've only shot one calling him in, so I think he's gonna be on the gun first, and hopefully we can knock something down. He's gonna get himself some T-Bell and uh, we're gonna head up by Ted. What do you guys think he ordered? What kind of guy do you think Ted is? You're probably wondering, who's filming me over there? That's probably what he's saying to her. He's probably like, do you know that guy? <laughs> he's acting like she said something about it. What? They're calling you in for recording. Are they really? <laughs> Did you tell her we're, I'm just filming a YouTube video? She's like, is he recording? not talk to me. Like, you can't be doing that, that's illegal. Tell her I'll come talk to him, just knock on the window. Is that we're good. <laughs> What'd you get? What's that? How is it? Well, should we go by Ted? You lead the way. All right, I'll lead the way. Couple deer down there. It's got a heck of a view here. <laughs> I mean, if they're, you know, well, yeah, they're closer, you know, just pop them in and keep pulling the trigger until you run out of shit. <laughs> Kicks a little bit, doesn't it? That'll work. Yeah. Yeah, just kick you in there. You're shooting something. There you go. This thing's so long. Uh -huh. The longest thing is. <laughs> yeah, you look like Davy Crockett. <laughs> yeah. 54 pellets. I mean, it, I mean, I've shot coyotes with it, and they just roll them if they're within 50 yards. Yeah. I think we got some footage of that, don't we? You shooting coyotes or bobcat or something? Yeah, I guess it was. Uh, that's what I shot him with. I yeah. Here we go. A couple deer around. Yeah, those were out there when we pulled in. Uh huh. Did you see many bobcats this year? Yeah. Circle around. Never, never tell when you might see one. Is that one? <laughs> Maybe calling in for us. Hope so. What I always coyotes like to that like that far ridge over there, and uh, so we're just gonna walk down on the bottom, walk up one of these little fingers of timber and set up and, and call that hillside there, thinking one will come out of there. Done it before, so 
all of this. Get out from here. Coat hunting's easy. <laughs> Dang, dude. <laughs> like a little far away, maybe. Huh? Did, did you get him? Huh? I say, did you get yours or did he? I didn't get mine. Uh, did you get yours? I think so. Oh, there's two of them? <laughs> what? I was looking at the one that was right here. There, there was one that came down behind Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I shot one right up there where this one came from. <laughs> Good. <laughs> what the? Uh huh? just happened like that. <laughs> yeah, I just about shot, but I saw him coming this way and thought he'd get within shotgun range, but he just didn't quite get there. <laughs> then there was another one following him, uh -huh. <laughs> and that's the one I shot. Shot? I, was looking, I was shot at this one over here. Yeah, that's the one I was yeah. filming. He come right right to pass that other one. Okay, did. <laughs> good. About, I think he's about up there by where that brush pile is. Dang. Good. That's the nice thing about having two guns. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to come right to it. Uh huh. He kind of veered off there trying to get downwind of the thing. <laughs> Pretty one, the one that came down by Ted. Yeah, that was. I think he is a bigger one than the one I shot. Really? Yeah, he was a big one. Dang, dude. There. On to the next one. <laughs> right? He didn't even call hardly at all. Just yeah, just the first way. sequence and what? 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I d Real you guys said too. something and I was thinking you were just talking and I looked over and there's a coyote sand there. <laughs> Holy cow. That <laughs> was a good point though that like you started out real light like that. Yeah. I think a lot yeah. of pe I, people I've went with at least, at least have a tendency to just get it in the rip in the car right away and that was. Yeah really where you got real thick cover close and I like I say I've called them in this exact spot <laughs> before it, it just uh it's just a perfect setup, you know, you just kind of hid coming in here and then yeah, that's got an open. That was a big thing that I noticed, it yeah. hid the whole way in here. Yeah, I got down in that perfect. creek and yeah. slipped and then you just pop up here. And like you said, they they were probably they like to bet on the hillside, they probably weren't very yeah, far Yeah, he was, they were just getting up to start hunting today. Or was that like cedars and stuff up in there that they're Yeah, a lot of cedars and hedge trees and it's a real good deer bedding area too or whatever they Heck yeah. <laughs> That's what they look like. When yeah, maybe when you get them. It's probably the female, that other one. I think. Yeah, that other one looked bigger. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a female, so. Got a good hide on it. But yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. They're good shooting. Yeah, we 
you. I suppose being I shot it, I gotta drag it out. I, I bet you could get one of us too. Pretty easily. Uh, I like the little one. <laughs> What's the plan now? Go we'll see if the next one's as easy as the first one. <laughs> Guess what I found? Yeah. Yep. Kidding. Pretty sure. Felt like it, I can't really see it, but sure looks like it on this camera. Night shed. Uh, My first night shed. Found the coon hunting, but the good one. Holy smoke. There. Wasn't all for nothing. <laughs> Great one. Good shit. Uh-huh. Buried. Been under there since the snow, at least. Jake finding them in the bean stubble. Yeah. Yeah, I can't say that I've ever found one. Coyote hunting after dark. <laughs> Pretty good eye. Yep. What is that? Scratch one out. <laughs> yeah, occasionally he'll see a coyote out the bedroom window or the sliding glass door there in the middle of the night. <laughs> drives him insane. You got some footage of him, like you taking him out, don't you? Where? Yeah, I, I haven't this year, but last year I took him out. Had quite the rodeo going on, going there for a while. <laughs> and then I end up missing it. <laughs> he was kind of disappointed in me. Uh, so I was thinking about maybe trying that later on. Uh huh. It's interesting though how like the coyotes are almost like they're like they kind of drive back and forth. You yeah, know, yeah, they're it's not like, scared of a dog. I suppose it's just like a canine to them. But yeah. It'd be cool to get him to. Have a coyote chase him up to you or whatever. Yeah, lure one shot. in. That's kind of what I'd like to do. Uh huh. I think that's going to be it for tonight. We never got the moon that we wanted. We're going to try it in the morning, though, I think, at first light there. Yeah, it's kind of last night it was clear, but it, clouds kind of moved in there and it's just not hardly bright enough to get any footage in the moon. But the, so we'll hit a couple more spots in the morning. And See you in the morning. Here they come. So the boys want to go over here to this uh, raccoon den tree and we're going to try to get the raccoons to come out of the tree, see if that works or whatever. <laughs> I got a couple of different calls on the, I don't really have a raccoon distress call. I got a couple others, so we'll give it a shot, see what happens. Hopefully they don't get ate up by a raccoon. <laughs> You'll try and kill some coon. If this works, I'll be amazed. <laughs> You can see the mm -hmm. trail going right up to it and coon whenever I walk by here they are always laying up in that. So we back up and yeah. see if one comes out and see what he does when he does come out. So I have a raccoon pup distress, so I guess we'll I don't really have an actual coon distress, just a Raccoon pups, it says. So that's what we're gonna try, I guess. It's <laughs> <laughs> about like coyote hunting. <laughs> First try out, you get one, and then you probably go a hundred more times, and you don't. You're looking at me, and I'm just like, where is he? <laughs> I could tell you seen one, but I couldn't see it. 
You'll also have a coonskin cap to go with your <laughs> coyote hat or whatever. <laughs> Careful. This one. Here, it's good to know that works. Yeah, I mean, that worked perfect, especially <laughs> if you know where the den trees are. Yeah. yeah, this time of the year it's their mating season, the raccoon mating season, and you can, like that trail down there in the bottom of the ditch, I mean, you you can just follow them trails and they'll lead you right to the uh -huh. den tree or whatever. We've always wanted to try that. Yeah. We saw Tim Wells do it one time and it looked pretty crazy so we wanted to try it <laughs> you know it, it works we just got done doing a podcast with dave owens and we were just talking about like turkey populations mostly in the south but like yeah and you know they get a lot on the raccoons yeah. they you know nobody hunts them anymore because their fur isn't yeah. really valuable right. and yeah. they, yeah. they just get thick and mm -hmm. then they get distemper and die basically mm -hmm. or whatever. well There's hopefully you saved a couple turkey nests you didn't give me much time to get on him. I just saw his head poke out, and I'm like, oh, right there. Uh huh. Big yeah. Ted's on first, and he, he was looking at me, and I start, so I started looking at the tree, and then I finally saw him. But. Well, he came right out of that split, like you said. He's uh -huh. like, hi, hi, hi. They're always right in that split of the tree. Perfect. I double up. Three and a half inch shotgun shell probably cost more than what the crown <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably so. <laughs> but he didn't move much after he shot him. No. Nope. Alright, so we're still at Ted Miller's. This morning we were driving a coyote hunt and when we were driving out we saw a rabbit down the driveway here and then there's a bunch more tracks up in this little draw here. We're gonna get up here, walk this little draw out, and hopefully shoot a couple rabbits. tracks. I might just loop around this and have you walk through it. There's your rabbit fur. Nope. He held tight, which is good. Got him. One down. <laughs> nice little guy. I don't think that's the same one I missed either. I think we should probably swing around and make sure we hit that high stuff too. We'll just walk this on the way out. Oh. Get him? Yep. Missed fire on the first one. Maybe I didn't get him. Now I got him. All right, here's one, Ted. He was sitting there when I first saw him and I started running. Might run out of shells. Might. We can shoot 10 rabbits. All right, we're about halfway through this little cedar draw here. And I mean, there's, there's tracks everywhere. We could see that from the road. So we figured they were gonna be in here. It's just usually a matter of how many places they can go and hide where you can't get to them. And like right over here, there's a rock pile that they can kind of crawl under. It's hard to get them out of that type of stuff, but we're also catching them in the cedars. And then there's down the bottom, there's like some multi-foil rows with like canary grass that's laid over the top of it and then snow on top. So it kind of hollows out a little house that they can have underneath it, it seems like. You can just jump on that type of stuff and they get out right at your feet. That's that's my favorite way to do it. I like when there's like when they're in that canary grass stuff where it's you just especially without a dog it makes yeah. it about perfect. Yeah, and all of a sudden they just get up right at your feet. It's uh -huh. like I really should, probably should have brought my four ten for this. I got the sixteen gauge. But been trying to go for headshots. That's the end of the draw right up there though, so I don't know how many more we're gonna get up, but I mean three in this little three's not bad. draw here. <laughs> I mean I'll take it. Bet you we'll see one more right up here. Right here, right here, right here, right here. He just stopped. He's right in front of me here. See if you can get him going. Get him going? Unless you think I should come over there. Yep, you're going up. Oh, he's going to 
He was jetting pretty good. There's probably another one in there. That one moved. Well, he's like, I don't know, probably two yards away from where the pattern hit. That's what far he went after it hit him. <laughs> he's cooking. Okay, hopefully there's another one in there you can shoot. Now that we're done. <laughs> there. Last one here. Holding tight, which is nice. I mean, if you're just two guys.